G'day cocktail lovers. I was searching for some inspiration for cocktails, looking through some websites and some cocktail books, and I found these two that use the same ingredients, but in different ratios. And they're both around 100 or more years old. I think they reflect the late 19th, early 20th century. There was a lot of experimentation with variations of a Manhattan and martini type drinks. This shows that, I think, a little bit of experimentation going on. I want to know which one's best. Like literally when I was taking notes, at first I thought I'd made a mistake. Wait, I've got two different recipes with the same ingredients, but the ratios are quite different. And also, the serving suggestion is different. One cocktail is called the Williams, and they recommend that you serve it up in a Cooper, in my case, a Nick and Nora. The other one is called a Sydney, sometimes called a St. Moritz because it was served at St. Moritz Hotel, it's recommended to be served in a rocks glass on ice. The ingredients in both cocktails are whiskey, yellow chartreuse, and dry vermouth. But another difference, apart from the ratios, is the Williams, the original recipe, said to use scotch, and the Sydney said to use rye whiskey. And I thought, what the heck, I'm going to go with those. That might make a bigger difference than the ratios, but who knows? Just before I tell you how to make the two, I'm going to have a quick taste and compare and see what I think of them. First, I'm going to do the Williams. And surprisingly, some quite noticeable herbal elements. And now the Sydney. You know what? I'm going to think on this a bit more and probably have another taste after I show you how to make them. We make them like this. For the Williams, we start with 60 mils or two ounces of Scotch whiskey. Then we add half an ounce or 15 mils of yellow chartreuse. Then half an ounce or 15 mils of dry vermouth. We add ice to our mixing glass, stir that for 20 to 25 seconds to chill and dilute the drink, and then we strain that into a chilled Nick and Nora glass. For the Sydney, in our mixing glass, we start off with 45 mils or one and a half ounces of rye whiskey. Then we add one ounce or 30 mils of yellow chartreuse and round things out with half an ounce or 15 mils of dry vermouth. Again, we add ice to the glass, stir it for 20 to 25 seconds to chill and dilute the drink and this time we strain it into a rocks glass with a big chunk of ice in there. So you see the key difference, more whiskey, more chartreuse, a scotch whiskey, a rye whiskey. Once more, with my admittedly unsophisticated palate, I'm gonna see which one maybe tips the balance for me. That's got that fruity scotch characteristics in there and a little bit of sharpness, I think that's from the combination of the vermouth and the yellow chartreuse. Now the other one, this is unsurprisingly lacking the fruitiness of the scotch. The rye actually goes quite well with the yellow chartreuse, I think. That sort of slight spiciness you get with rye whiskies going with the yellow chartreuse herbal elements. So when it comes down to it, which one is best for you? Clearly, I think that depends what you like. If you're a real scotch aficionado and you prefer those fruity notes you tend to get with scotch over, say, a rye whiskey, you want to go with this one. Through the magic of editing, you have no idea. I forgot this one was called the Williams. If you're a real rye whiskey fan and if you want something a, a bit sharp, you got those slight spicy notes from the rye whiskey, and really playing off some extra volume from the yellow chartreuse in there. So this has that more herbal and uh, slightly spicy rye element in there. Then you'll want to go with the San Moritz. Honestly, I think they're both pretty good. They're interesting drinks. Like I said, they're sort of distant cousins or maybe even relatively close cousins of a Manhattan. And they're fun experiments. Great colours too, it looks like I'm drinking urine samples again. Ah oh well, look who's on his double fisting bullshit again. I'm heading out there and I'm going to finish these off. I hope you're taking care wherever you are. Uh, but until I do see you again, I will say, because I love the sound the Nick and Nora makes, I will say... Cheers!